the great Governor Howard Day. Let's give it a Sunday night. Well, look, this is great, and um, you know we're coming to the time of the evening where everything has been said, but not everything has been said by everyone. So <laughs> let me thank Jeff. He's going to be a great United States senator, and you're the, going to be the ones that put him over the top. Uh, look, let, me, let me just say, first of all, I, I know that everybody's been out canvassing today, and I, it, I really appreciate it. The difference between whether Jeff Merkley goes to the United States Senate or not is going to be about how hard you're willing to work in the next um, 48 hours. Yeah. Uh, or 48 hours and uh, <laughs> 15 minutes. Um, and this really, it, it, we're, 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 da we're down to the situation now where this is all about you, and it's not about speeches, and it's not about uh, television ads or any of that stuff. It's just about you. It's about how hard we're willing to work and whether we really want change. This is an extraordinary election, and uh, I guess I, I can say, in, a, in addressing the people in the university town, this is an election which is a generational change election. It's very much like 1960. For my, for my generation, when John F. Kennedy ran, he was the candidate of the future against the candidate of the past, which is Richard Nixon. Barack Obama is the candidate of this new generation that the torch is now being passed to. And so what I say to people, young people all over the country is, this is the kind of candidate who's giving the message that you want, that you're giving the older generation to everybody in America, which is, isn't it time that we started to focus on those things that we can agree on and stop fighting about the things that we don't agree on so that we can make America a better place? central message to America. Now look, there's some big issues here. Uh, the economy is, I mean, you know, John McCain thinks the way to fix the economy is to give tax cuts to people like ExxonMobil. You know, one thing John McCain and Gordon Smith have in common, they both voted with George W. Bush 90% of the time. I think Barack Obama and Jeff Merkley have a different plan, and it is a much better plan, and what they want to do is focus on helping the people who didn't get a tax cut the last time. Middle class people and working people deserve to own the government, not the special interests that run Gordon Smith's campaign and John McCain's campaign and work for George W. Bush. So, first of all, on the economy, there's some really key differences. That is, middle class and working class folks get what they didn't get under George Bush and John McCain and Gordon Smith. Secondly, Iraq. The difference between John McCain and George Bush, I mean, John McCain and George Bush on one hand and Barack on the other, is 98 years in Iraq. 98 years in Iraq. And this is not just a matter of bringing our troops home. And by the way, you know, everybody supports our troops, whether we're for the war or against the war, but I'd like to see, I'd like to see the Republicans support our troops when they get home and not just when they're home. But we are spending $10 billion every month in Iraq. Don't you think we could use a little of that money in Oregon, making sure that kids can graduate from college without that breaking loans, making sure that we had a health care system to work for everybody, making sure that we had decent roads and decent schools and decent jobs here in Oregon. That money belongs in America. It doesn't belong in Iraq anymore, and our troops need to come home. If you want, if you want our troops to come home, this is tied in directly with Jeff Merkley's campaign. If you want our troops to go home, it's not just enough to elect Barack Obama. You've got to elect Jeff Merkley. Because don't forget, the Democrats took over the House and the Senate in 2006, and Gordon Smith was part of a minority in the Senate that made sure that nothing got done. There is a reason I know that he's running ads saying, don't turn everything over to the Democrats. 
The Republicans had everything for six years. They didn't do anything. Then when we got power, they blocked everything we tried to do. We need Jeff Merkley in the United States Senate so we can get something done. Because we have made promises to the American people that we will accomplish something. And we ought to get rid of those folks that block getting out of Iraq. We ought to get rid of those folks that block children's health care. We can do better than this in America. And we need yeah. Jeff Merkley there instead of Gordon Smith in order to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So the first thing I think, we've talked about the economy and health care in Iraq and the big differences between John McCain and George Bush and Gordon Smith on one hand and Barack Obama and Joe Biden and Jeff Merkley on the other. But we started out talking about bringing the country together. You know, Barack is reaching out to evangelical Christians. And people my age go, we think of people like Pat Roberts and Jerry Falwell, fairly divisive f folks. But evangelical Christians under 35, you know, that's a changing community too. And this under 35 generation is changing everything. The top three issues for evangelical Christians under the age of 35 years old, one, poverty, two, climate change, three, Darfur. Why shouldn't we reach out and work with yeah! politics that this generation is bringing to America. It's a new kind of politics that Barack Obama is going to bring to the presidency, and it's a new yeah. kind of politics that Jeff Merkley is going to bring to the United States Senate, and we can't do it without you. So, look, this has been a great day, and you all worked very hard, but you know that the early count is great for the Democrats, but it is low for the whole state. It's not as high as it was four years ago. We need it to be as good as it was four years ago, maybe even a little better. I'm asking for two more days of the kind of effort you put out today. You got it. I know it's hard work, but if you don't do it, we're going to put in four more years of what we've just had, and we can't afford that anymore. So two more days, this is now up to you. And I really, I, just, I, I came to Oregon for a couple of reasons. One is I really want to see Barack Obama in the White House, and I really want to see Jeff Merkley in the United States Senate. But the other reason is I came to thank you for what you're doing. This is hard work, but it's what makes democracy work. It's your, this is your country. It's not my country. It's not Jeff's country. It's all of our countries together. And this is the time every four years where you really get to have a say where what you do makes all the difference in the world. As Barack says, it isn't about us, it's about you. And that is, this is it, this is the time. As I say, especially the members of the younger generation, this is the first candidate of your generation. Don't blow it. <laughs> so, let, me, let me just take a moment also to thank Meredith Wood Smith and the Oregon Democratic Party. You got one of the best parties in the entire country. You guys are so great at grassroots politics. I'm almost embarrassed to ask you to do more, but not that embarrassed. Two more days, two more days, Barack Obama in the White House, Woo! Jeff Merkley in the United States Senate. Let us go and do it and send a message to Washington that this country belongs to all Americans, not just a special interest for John McCain and Gordon Smith.